And Lemoy Andrew Sean accused of starving their six month old daughter to death and severely malnourishing their other four children by keeping them on a raw food diet. The only thing that is at issue here today is whether or not the parents' conduct towards the children was reasonable under the circumstances. When the children began losing weight, should the parents have noticed? Should they have intervened? Should they have sought medical attention? The child did not die as a result of malnutrition. The, the child died because of congenital defects. The couple's other children seen here on tape plan to testify against their parents. The Andershans face 50 years in prison. Testimony began today in the case of a baby allegedly starved to death by her parents. Now, Homestead Officer Robert Brown compared the baby who had been on a raw food diet to a starving famine usually seen in a poverty-stricken foreign country. Prosecutors say Joseph and Lemoy Anderson starved the baby to death by feeding her a diet of wheatgrass, coconut water, and almond milk. Defense lawyers contend the baby suffered from a congenital condition, a lack of a thymus gland needed to build an immune system. Auto cannibalism. That means baby Woya's body was eating itself because she wasn't getting enough nutrients. The nutrients were supposed to come from those two parents seated up against the wall. While these children may be small, they, they may be thin, the evidence will show that they were alert, healthy, and happy children. The Andresons' other children who are now staying with family members are expected to testify tomorrow. Two years... 75 degrees now at 6.07. Testimony has begun in the case of a baby allegedly starved to death by her own parents. Homestead officer Robert Brown yesterday compared the baby who had been on a raw food and vegetable diet to someone starving in a poverty-stricken foreign country. Prosecutors say Joseph and Lemoy Anderson starved the baby to death by feeding her only wheatgrass, coconut water, and almond milk. Defense attorneys contend the baby suffered from a congenital condition, a lack of a thymus gland needed to build an immune system. Auto cannibalism. That means baby Woya's body was eating itself because she wasn't getting enough nutrients. The nutrients were supposed to come from those two parents seated up against the wall. While these children may be small, they, they may be thin, the evidence will show that they were alert, healthy, and happy children. The Andersons' other kids, who are now staying with family members, are expected to testify today via closed-circuit television. The relatives are feeding them a full range of food, including meat. 608. Trial time for a couple accused of putting their baby on a deadly diet. The infant prosecutors say starved to death. And later today, surviving children are set to take the stand. Seven's Derek Hayward covering this case from Miami. By culpable negligence, those parents caused their child, Woya, to suffer malnutrition so severe that it turned that child into a bag of skin and bones. A six-month-old child who weighed less than seven pounds. Four of their children suffered severe malnutrition, and their youngest child, a six-month-old, died as a result of their negligence. And so begins the trial of Joseph and Lemoy Anderson, accused of feeding such an inadequate raw vegetarian diet to their baby warrior shown here in her mother's arms that she died at the age of six months. Accused of feeding the same diet to their other four children, causing them to be grossly underweight. Let me tell you something about the background of these two evil persons, as the state wants you to believe. The defense attorneys insist the Andresones are devoted parents who simply tried to offer their children a healthy lifestyle. While these children may be small, they, they may be thin, the evidence will show that they were alert, healthy, and happy children. As for what precisely killed baby Woya, the defense. The child suffered from a fungal infection. The prosecution. Baby Woya was undergoing what the medical experts will tell you is auto cannibalism. That means baby Woya's body was eating itself 
because she wasn't getting enough nutrients. Today, baby warriors surviving three brothers and a sister are expected to testify against the parents they have not been allowed to see for the last 28 months, ever since Woya's death. The Andersons, by the way, do have yet another child, this one born after their arrest. That child they are permitted to visit. In Miami, Derek Hayward, today in Florida. Well, so the Meantime, we're following some other news for you tonight. Compelling testimony today from the children of two parents accused of starving their baby to death. CBS 4's Gary Nelson was in the courtroom. He joins us now live in Miami. Gary. Well, these parents haven't seen their surviving children for nearly two and a half years. They got to see two of them today, but only via closed circuit TV. I was hungry. He was hungry, the little boy said, as he testified via closed-circuit TV against his mom and dad. Joseph and Lemoy Anderson are accused of starving their youngest child to death, feeding six-month-old Woya a diet of only raw vegetables and vegetable juice. What happened to Woya? She died. What did she die of? Because they were giving her vegetables, and say, they didn't give her no milk. Uh -huh. The mother wept as she listened to her nine-year-old son and his seven-year-old brother give remarkably Hi. similar testimony that sounded lawyer. almost scripted at times. What happened to Woya? She's dead. How did she die? They gave her too much raw food. The defense tried to show the boys had been coached, poisoned against their parents, who they were taken from more than two years ago. But the oldest boy volunteered a seemingly forgiving statement. All I know that is they killed my little baby sister by accident. How did you know it was an accident? Because they gave the, us raw food, but they didn't know that our little sister would die from that. The mother's tears flowed heaviest today when her son was asked his parents' names. I know my dad's name is Joe. I just don't know what's my mom's name. I forgot. He has forgotten, he says, his mother's name. This trial expected to continue through next week. We're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Well your, weather station well, your weather station tracking the powerful Hurricane Wilma, Brian Norcross, back again after the break with the very latest. Remember, you can... Today. In the case of a baby, prosecutors say was... Now on trial for murder. Today, accused couples of other children testified against their own parents. Nick Bogart has... joins us live with more on today's emotional testimony. Nick? Well, about the parents and the charges against them, this was a... The two oldest children of Joseph and Lemoy Andrus testify about the death of their youngest child. The parents and the jury remote closed circuit location protect the boy's privacy. I know that they killed by accident. Early remembers his late baby sister doesn't charged with manslaughter in her death. Her insistence that the household follow a raw food only diet. They gave raw food, but they didn't know that sister would die. Person weeps when her oldest son's name now. Her seven holding a golf club the judge had in his older brother. The raw food diet sometimes made to complain to his parents about it. Getting trouble. The boys and their two other siblings care. It would be wonderful to hold them. Joseph Andrus has been caring for his kids and turning the children against their parents. And that he got those thoughts, Mary. But when the told him his sister had died because of. Who are you talking about? My real one. Meaning, claims the prosecutor, that Lemoy Anderson herself admitted nutrition were a fatal mistake. My baby Woya dying from eating the raw from the defendant herself. The aunt scared the kids out of wanting to visit their parents. My aunt told me that if I went there, I'll go in jail. Though their sons could not see them, the Andersons waved when each boy left the remote camera site. 
Their lawyer had earlier tried to deliver an I love you message. They wanted you to know. It's the same. Well, Judge Stan Blake stopping a clearly improper question. Lawyer Ellis Rubin then adding, I'm sorry, I can't tell you that. Now, you saw Joseph Anderson commenting on today in court. His wife, Lemoy, did not want to speak outside the courtroom. We're live outside the courthouse. Nick Bogart, NBC6. All right, Nick, thank you. Coming up, we will continue to track this storm and have the latest on her path. I'm Ari Odzer, live in Miramar. A big question for any approaching hurricane is flooding. A big concern. Can our water drainage system handle the expected deluge if the hurricane comes? For our satellites, Tony. Michael, thank you. It was an emotional day in a Miami courtroom as two young boys testified in their parents' trial. The South Florida couple accused of starving their young baby to death with a fanatical diet of raw food. Nick Bogert has more on the children's testimony. All I know that is they killed my little baby sister by accident. He's nine now, barely remembers his late baby sister, Woya. Doesn't remember much about the parents yeah. charged with manslaughter in her death because of their insistence that the household follow a raw food only diet. They gave the, us raw food, but they didn't know that our little sister would die from that. Lemoy Anderson weeps when her oldest son says he can't remember her name now. Her seven-year-old also testified, holding a golf club the judge had in his chamber, agreeing with his older brother the raw food diet sometimes left him hungry, but afraid to complain to his parents about it. Because I thought I will get in trouble. It's been 28 months now since the boys and their two other siblings were removed from the Andersons' care. They look good, and it would be wonderful to hold them. Joseph Anderson's sister has been caring for his kids, and defense lawyers claim turning the children against their parents. It came out in further cross-examination that he got those thoughts from his new mother, Mary. But when the nine-year-old said his mommy had told him his sister had died because of diet... Which mommy are you talking about? My real, my first one. Meaning, claims the prosecutor, that Lemoy Anderson herself admitted her ideas on nutrition were a fatal mistake. And the information about baby Woya dying from eating the raw food came from the defendant herself. But defense lawyers complain the aunt scared the kids out of wanting to visit their parents. My aunt told me that if I went there, I'll go in jail. Though their sons could not see them, the Andersons waved when each boy left the remote camera site. Their lawyer had earlier tried to deliver an I love you message. They wanted you to know. It's the thing. Nick Bogart, NBC6. An elderly couple... Joseph and his wife, Lemoy, parents charged with neglecting those kids and charged with manslaughter for the death of their baby, Woya who authorities say died of malnutrition because the Andersons insisted on a strict raw food diet. Thank you. You're welcome. Mary Anderson says her nieces and nephews were thin and sickly when she got them and quickly gained weight during their first week in her care. Between three to seven pounds per child. Oh. She testified that all four kids, even the six-year-old, wore pampers at first, that the oldest were toilet trained, but... And when they slept, they would pee or pass feces in their sleep, so they were in diapers. Defense lawyers have hinted Mary Anderson planted negative notions in the kids' minds about their parents, things the kids testified to yesterday. All I know that is they killed my little baby sister by accident. Did you ever tell them that? No, I did not. The Andersons' lawyers claim Aunt Mary scared the kids when they spoke of perhaps visiting their parents. My aunt told me that if I went there, I'll go in jail. And I told them that I could not take them to jail because they did not allow children in jail. Defense lawyers tried to paint Mary Anderson as a single, childless woman hoping to inherit a family. She denied she was out to put Joseph and Lemoy behind bars. If the parents get convicted, yes, I would like to keep the children in my home. Would you like to see them convicted? No, I would not. I think that she wants those kids. But Mary Anderson, who works as an immigration agent for the government, says she's only on the stand to tell the truth. And she says that Joseph's interest in vegetarianism stems from his involvement in the black Hebrew Israelite religious sect. The first time jurors have heard that claim. In Miami, Nick Bogart, NBC6. Coming up, lawyers for the couple accused of letting their baby waste away on a raw food diet turn to doctors to refute those charges. Nick Bogart is live at the courthouse in Miami with more on today's testimony, Nick. Well, here at the courthouse, the defense turns to doctors who say it was not her parents' insistence, hardline insistence on a raw food diet, but rather a rare disorder, something that affects one baby in every 30 or 40,000 that killed Woya Anderson. 
Defense witnesses testify the raw food diet of the Anderson family probably did not cause the death of baby Woya. One genetics expert testifies the infant's facial features suggested an illness called DeGeorge syndrome. Prominent forehead, low set ears, depressed nasal ridge, small chin, all of which are found in this patient. So the medical examiner had found that malnutrition caused the baby's death, though Dr. Reinhard Mote also could not find Woya's thymus gland, and the lack of a thymus is also a feature of DeGeorge syndrome, which can cripple the immune system. And that, claim defense experts, is what kept the Anderson's baby way underweight, weighing less than seven pounds at age five months when she died. So if there's not enough thymus tissue, there may be problems with um, infections. Does a lack of immune system have an effect on a child's growth? Uh, it may at times if a child is, is having repeated infections. Or... But none of the defense doctors had done any first-hand examination of the baby's body, as the medical examiner uh, did. The and friends of the Andersons have testified that once Lemoy Anderson stopped breastfeeding due to discomfort, Woya had been fed with coconut milk and sometimes juices made of grass. Grass was a part of their diet. All right, and specifically, what, if anything, did you say about a sandwich being made? Uh... He mentioned to us that they would make grass sandwiches. And even defense experts had to concede tooth decay in the other Anderson children may have been evidence of malnutrition. And they conceded baby Woya was malnourished. And I think that malnutrition was a contributing cause, but I would still stick with infection as the reason for the sudden demise. If you have a baby who has malnutrition, they don't die uh, after an overnight uh, a sudden illness. But on cross-examination, Dr. Benke is forced to concede most DeGeorge victims have heart defects while baby Woya didn't, and she also had T-cells in her body. Those are cells that were produced by the thymus gland, which presumably would have been absent if there was full DeGeorge syndrome. Now, tomorrow, we expect to hear from both of Woya Anderson's parents. Both Lemoy and Joseph Anderson expect to take the stand in their own defense. We're live at the courthouse. Nick Bogart, NBC6. Nick, thank Make you. Make you but, um... They have failed in almost everything they've tried to play the rest of the college football for the most part at least. Possibly missed. The dog, rather in. Judge, is that what your testimony is, Doctor? No, it's not my testimony. Get the choices you want, plus the answers you need. Closed captioning is brought to you by Palmetto Ford, your commercial truck superstore. Palmetto Ford, give us a try before you buy. 305 592 Ford. Well, the parent of a baby girl who died got quite a boost from a medical expert in court today. That is until the prosecutor went after that man during cross-examination. Now, this is just the latest in the trial of those parents accused of imposing an extreme diet on their infant girl until she died. And at that time, she weighed less than seven pounds. Jeff Burnside has the latest. This trial is about parents who may have unintentionally caused the death of their own child. The government says the baby girl died of malnourishment, a result of that extreme version of a raw foods diet. But the attorney for the parents today found a medical expert who says the baby died of something else altogether. First, though, the fireworks. Told well, the jury why this isn't a starvation case, and you listed all the points to prove it's not starvation. But we never alleged it was starvation, right? You deceived the jury, didn't you? Tempers no flared as the prosecutor challenged what this former medical examiner, a defense witness, had to say. Something's up with this child, and it's not just malnutrition. Five-month-old Woya Anderson died weighing under seven pounds. Her parents embrace an extreme alternative diet. They're accused of feeding the baby foods like grass and scorning medical care until it was too late. Was this child Woya malnourished in any fashion? Yes. Was that the cause of her death? No. 
Dr. Don Maraccini believes no. the baby died of accommodation of factors, including a rare disease. The bloated belly, he says, was not from malnourishment, but from an air tube inserted incorrectly by fire rescue. Then the prosecutor went after him. As a Harvard-trained medical doctor, that it was because I was so inarticulate in asking my questions to you in English that you could not understand, not once, not twice, but three times, so that you gave the wrong answer. Is that what your testimony is, doctor? No, that's not my testimony. This is more like the McCarthy trial. Judge, I object to that and ask the right, uh, that, that, that will be stricken by the jury. In the end, the medical expert apologized to the jury for using the word starvation rather than malnourishment, a big difference. Good a teacher as I should have been. The prosecutor stopped just short of accusing the doctor of intentionally misleading. I find it very difficult to understand how he could have possibly missed the distinction between starvation and malnutrition. And he accused this doctor of uh, deception and so on and so forth. I'm going to have a lot of comment on that to the jury. Well, malnourishment means the wrong food. Starvation means no food at all, not what the government is alleging. The baby died with only grass in its stomach. More fireworks tomorrow. Both parents expected to testify. In downtown Miami, Jeff Burnside, NBC6. Jeff, thank you. computer savvy, right? But no, it, it she does doesn't work. lie. We know that. <laughs> all right, critical testimony today in the high-profile case of a couple accused of starving their own baby. A former medical examiner took the stand claiming the baby's death was not caused by malnutrition. CBS4's Gary Nelson has more for us tonight from Miami. The Miami-Dade medical examiner got it wrong in this case of alleged manslaughter by malnutrition. That was the testimony of a defense expert today who says this baby died not from starvation, but from disease. Something's up with this child, and it's not just malnutrition. Dr. John Marasini testifying for Joseph and Lemoy Anderson, accused of killing their baby girl, Woya, by feeding her a diet of only liquefied raw foods, nuts and wheat grass. Marasini, a former medical examiner, says the baby choked on food she breathed into her lungs, that her death was due to pneumonia, a fungal infection, and weakened immune system. He says the child's bloated belly, for instance, was due not to hunger, but a breathing tube paramedics inserted in her stomach rather than her lungs. If the belly is distended by something else, in the case air from resuscitation, then it creates the wrong impression. And the wrong impression is what this case is all about. His testimony was contradicted earlier by medical examiner Reinhardt Mote, who said he found nothing but grass inside the baby's digestive tract. What, what Woya needed, what a child of Woya's age needs, is breast milk or formula or a combination of both, not grass. I mean, grass is for cows, it's not for newborns. A family friend testified earlier she was worried about the baby. Yes, she looked exactly uh, like the children that you see on the commercials from Somalia. Her, what really alarmed me about the whole situation was the fact that her arms were about the size of my thumb. Barring a change in defense strategy, the parents, Joseph and Lemoy Anderson, will take the stand tomorrow in their own defense. We'll try to deflect some of the damning testimony against them. In Miami, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Still to come tonight, a time is 7.37, a courtroom confrontation in the trial of two South Florida parents accused of failing to properly feed their baby and causing her death. You told the jury why this isn't a starvation case, and you listed all the points to prove it's not starvation, but we never alleged it was starvation, right? You deceived the jury, didn't you? No, counsel. You are trying to help the defense win. Not a prosecutor tearing into a key defense witness who took the stand yesterday, but the witness, a former medical examiner, insists the six-month-old did not die from malnutrition, but from natural causes related to her immune system. The prosecution says the infant died from severe malnutrition because she was fed a diet of wheatgrass, coconut water, and almond milk. She was fed grass, and grass has a lot of iron in it, and therefore you should expect to find that a child that dies of malnutrition because she's fed grass until she dies has a lot of iron, but very little fat. And he accused this doctor of uh, deception 
and so on and so forth. I'm going to have a lot of comment on that to the jury. The parents who face aggravated manslaughter and child neglect charges are expected to testify next. If convicted, they could get 17 years behind bars. The story of confrontation in the trial of two South Florida parents accused of causing their baby's death by feeding her improperly. You told the jury why this isn't a starvation case, and you listed all the points to prove it's not starvation, but we never alleged it was starvation, right? You deceived the jury, didn't you? No counsel. The prosecution interrogating the key defense witness who took the stand yesterday, but the witness, a former medical examiner, insists that the six-month-old died from natural causes related to her immune system and not from mal malnutrition. Parents keep their daughter on a diet of wheatgrass, coconut water, and almond milk. It's a diet, prosecutors argue, killed that baby girl. She was fed grass, and grass has a lot of iron in it, and therefore you should expect to find that a child that dies of malnutrition because she's fed grass until she dies has a lot of iron but very little fat. And he accused this doctor of uh, deception and so on and so forth. I'm going to have a lot of comment on that to the jury. The parents face aggravated manslaughter and child neglect charges. They're expected to be the next as early as today on the stand. If convicted, they could face up to seven year, 17 years behind bars. The death of their baby daughter will not take the stand at their trial, with testimony expected to wrap up today. Now, prosecutors have claimed that Lemoy and Joseph Anderson allowed their baby to waste away from malnutrition because they insisted on a diet of raw food only for their family. Though their lawyers had earlier said both of them would testify, the couple told the judge under oath they did not want to talk. Both lawyers and defendants apparently changing their minds overnight. And Mr. Rubin, uh... We had come to the conclusion that we thought it was best for each of our clients not to testify. And what happened was they came up to me, much to my surprise, and said the same thing. Given the, uh... Well, jury members who've been hearing defense witnesses suggest that the baby could have had a defective immune system. They're now hearing videotape testimony from doctors who support the state's claim that malnutrition killed the child. Closing arguments are now expected on Monday. Well, his approval ratings are death of their six-month-old daughter. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has been covering the case from the start. He joins us now live at the courthouse with the conclusion. Gary. Maggie, it is a split verdict, a split verdict that comes down hugely in the favor of these young parents. They had been charged with manslaughter, the next most serious thing to murder in the death of their little girl who was fed an unorthodox, if not bizarre, diet of purely liquefied raw vegetables and fruits. They were not convicted of manslaughter, but rather were found guilty of a much lesser charge. A. We the After a two-week trial, Lemoyne Joseph and Lemoy Anderson are found not guilty, not of, manslaughter. guilter of manslaughter in the death of their baby girl, Woya, starved to death, the state had argued, by an all-raw foods diet. But the parents were found Guilty, of, guilty child of child neglect, neglect of their other four hand. children who were found to be malnourished. The neglect charges much less serious than the manslaughter count they beat. Oh, I can't wait to see my children. I thank God and I thank, you know, the judge for a fair trial. And I thank my attorneys. They're great. And I'm just glad that I, I know that, you know, I'm going to be with my children soon. But convicted of four counts of child neglect, it may be a while before they see their surviving children again. A family court judge will decide. Defense attorneys and prosecutors think the jury's lenient decision today could have been a sympathy verdict. It was a compromise. It was a compromise because it was only an hour and a half. The jury could have taken into consideration the fact that a guilty on the manslaughter would separate the parents from the children for a substantial period of time. Whatever, husband and wife viewed today's verdicts as good news. I do consider it a victory, although um, our daughter's still not here. Now, jurors left the courthouse this evening declining to comment to reporters who tried to question them. Hopefully, we'll get to talk to one of these jurors, see what they were thinking, and have that for you in our 11 o'clock news tonight on CBS 4. 
The Andersons had been looking at 30 years in the state prison if they had been convicted on that manslaughter charge. Instead, now when they're sentenced December 15th, they will face a maximum of just five years, probably much less than that, given that they have no prior record of criminal offense. We're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. And now, two weeks after... A split decision from a Miami jury. The parents accused of letting their baby die while on an extreme raw food diet have been convicted of some charges and cleared of another. Nick Bogart has been following this case from the very beginning. He joins us now live from the courthouse with more on the verdict. Nick? The jury gets the case at 2.15, finishes its work 90 minutes later, rendering a verdict that astonishes with both its speed and its substance. It's a, it's a decision that is split in a way that puzzles a lot of folks who followed this case. Anybody willing to let us know? No juror is willing to explain the split verdict that surprised pretty much everyone. We, the jury, find the defendant, Lemoy Anderson, as to count one, not guilty of manslaughter. Lemoy and Joseph Anderson found not guilty of manslaughter in the death of their baby, Woya, who died at age six months, weighing less than seven pounds, but convicted of four counts each of criminal neglect of their other kids. The prosecutor had argued that the Andersons' insistence that only raw fruits and vegetable products be consumed in their home was the reason that Woya died and that the other kids languished, surprised at the jury's verdict. Are you perplexed? Well, uh, yes, I would have to say so. Uh, the child neglect counts seem to be the tougher uh, counts to prove. You. The defense had argued while Joseph and Lemoy might have made some nutritional mistakes, they were not criminal in nature. The defense lawyer's take on the verdict? It was a compromise. It was a compromise because it was only an hour and a half. The Andersons reign free on bond for now but could receive up to 20 years each on the child neglect convictions when they are sentenced in December. Defense lawyers say they will argue for no time behind bars, that the Andersons should stay with the baby born since they were charged in this case and be reunited with their four other children eventually, including the two sons who testified that their parents had caused their sister's death by accident. They will be reunited with their family. That is my goal. Despite the convictions? Or do you have to get those tossed out before there can be a reunification? No, I don't have to get them. They're already under a family plan that if they obey, they're going to get their children in a year. Oh, I can't wait to see my children. I thank God. I do consider it a victory, although... Um, our daughter's still not here. Indeed, baby uh, Loya would be turning three just about now. December 15th is the date set for sentencing. Defense lawyers say that a family court judge has already said that they support family reunification. That, of course, is not going to happen if the Andersons are sent away to jail or prison, and that is up to Judge Stan Blake. We're live at the courthouse. Nick Wood with NBC6. Now clock tonight, they were accused of starving their baby to death, but tonight it's mother and father getting a big break in court. On the night team tonight, 7's Tiffany Tucker live in Miami. She has details on a jury decision today. Tiffany? Well, Craig, the prosecution calling the not guilty manslaughter verdict devastating. The parents of this child calling it a victory. And tonight, they remain free on bond. But you know what? They're not out of the woods just yet. We, the jury, find the defendant, Lemoy Anderson, as to count one not guilty of manslaughter. A father with his head in his hands, emotional moments after learning the fate of himself and his wife. Joseph and Lemoy Anderson found not guilty in the manslaughter death of their six-month-old daughter, Woya. I do consider it a victory, although um, our daughter's still not here. And I thank God and I thank, you know, the judge for a fair trial, and I thank my attorneys, they're great, and I'm just glad that I, I know that, you know, I'm going to be with my children soon. The parents accused of starving their infant to death by serving her a raw food diet, leading to malnutrition and immune system problems. The jury took less than an hour and a half to come back with a not guilty verdict for manslaughter, but finding the couple guilty of child neglect on four of their other children. The prosecution stunned. The same standard of culpable negligence applies to each and every one of the four counts of child neglect that applies to the aggravated manslaughter. So a uh, verdict of guilty on all of the child neglect counts based upon culpable negligence, but not on the aggravated manslaughter count, is uh, well, somewhat surprising. The defense painting a different picture. They decided that there was nothing to the manslaughter charge which I agree was very hard to prove. 
and uh, we'll take care of the uh, neglect charges in the proper way. I'll just put in my trust in God. And the couple could get anywhere from probation to five years for each of those four counts of child neglect. They'll be back in court tomorrow. Reporting live from Miami, Tiffany Tucker, 7 News 19. verdict comes in for the South Florida couple accused of starving to death their baby daughter. Joseph and Lemoy Anderson are accused of feeding the six-month-old a severe diet of raw food. But well, today, in just about two hours, a jury returned a verdict in that case, and now new tonight at 11, one of the jurors is talking to NBC6. Nick Bogart has the story. Anybody willing to let us know? No juror is willing to explain the split verdict that surprised pretty much everyone. We, the jury, find the defendant, Lemoy Anderson, as to count one, not guilty of manslaughter. Lemoy and Joseph Anderson two, found not guilty of manslaughter in the death of their baby, Woya, who died at age six months, weighing less than seven pounds, but convicted of four counts each of criminal neglect of their other kids. The prosecutor had argued that the Andersons' insistence that only raw fruits and vegetable products be consumed in their home was the reason that Woya died and that the other kids languished, surprised at the jury's verdict. Are you perplexed? Well, uh, yes, I would have to say so. Uh, the child neglect counts seem to be the tougher uh, counts to prove. You. The defense had argued while Joseph and Lemoy might have made some nutritional mistakes, they were not criminal in nature. The defense lawyer's take on the verdict? It was a compromise. It was a compromise because it was only an hour and a half. The Andersons reign free on bond for now, but could receive up to 20 years each on the child neglect convictions when they are sentenced in December. Defense lawyers say they will argue for no time behind bars, that the Andersons should stay with the baby born since they were charged in this case, and be reunited with their four other children eventually, including the two sons who testified that their parents had caused their sister's death by accident. They will be reunited with their family. That is my goal. Despite the convictions? Or do you have to get those tossed out before there can be a reunification? No, I don't have to get them. They're already under a family plan that if they obey, they're going to get their children in a year. Oh, I can't wait to see my children. I thank God. I do consider it a victory, although... Um Our daughter's still not here. Well, at first, jurors said no, but new tonight at 11, the jury foreman in this case did speak to NBC6 about the verdict reached today. We have a responsibility as a parent to care for children. I think that uh, Lamoy and Joseph were trying to do that, you know, and uh, maybe they really didn't have a lot of information as to the proper way of really following a raw foods diet with their children. More on the case and more of our interview tomorrow on Today in South Florida beginning at 5 a.m. The parents of a baby girl starved to death. They were acquitted on the most serious charge against them, but they're still looking at hard time. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez spoke with a juror and joins us now live in Miami. Maribel. Yeah, Maggie, that juror tells us uh, they didn't believe or they didn't feel the Andersons were purposely harming their daughter, and they also said there wasn't enough evidence to charge them with manslaughter. We, the jury, find the defendant, Lemoy Anderson, as to count one, not guilty of manslaughter. Joseph and Lemoy Anderson were found not guilty in the death of their baby girl, Woya. The state argued the five-month-old was starved to death by an all-off foods diet, but as for the charges against their other children... As to count two, as to Yashua Anderson, guilty of child neglect. We spoke with one of the jurors who said they didn't believe the Andersons were purposely harming their daughter. They felt the evidence presented wasn't enough to prove manslaughter. They did, however, feel the Andersons weren't providing their other children with enough food, therefore charging them with child neglect, a much less serious charge than manslaughter count they beat. Oh, I can't wait to see my children. I thank God and I thank, you know, the judge for a fair trial. And I think my attorneys did great, and I'm just glad that I, I know that, you know, I'm going to be with my children soon. And because of those children, defense attorneys and prosecutors believe sympathy may have influenced the jury's decision. It was a compromise. It was a compromise because it was only an hour and a half. The jury could have taken into consideration the fact that a guilty on the manslaughter would separate the parents from the children for a substantial period of time. And even though that may still be the case, the Andersons were pleased with the verdict.
I do consider it a victory, although um, our daughter's still not here. And their four other children are now in foster care. A family court judge will decide their fate as for the Anderson sentencing. It's scheduled for December 15th. We're live in Miami. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News, tonight. And now a story you'll see only on four. A woman is talking tonight.